Hello friends, my name is Srikanth Ramdol and I have been solving a lot of question papers on engineering graphics from different universities. Specifically speaking, JNTU has all its answer keys made from me for the past three years. And these answer keys are used by the faculty members to do the correction of the actual exam papers solved by the students. So without much delay, let's go to the problem that we have come here to solve today. So here is the problem on plane scales that we are going to solve. So we are all be knowing that plane scales are scales with main divisions which are generally larger and one main division is usually divided into smaller subdivisions. So the question goes somewhat like this. Use the representative factor of 1 is to 40 to read meters, decimeters. And we have to draw a plane scale long enough to measure up to 6 meters and we have to mark a distance of 4.7 meters on it. So the scale looks somewhat like this once it is solved, but how to solve it? That is the trick that we need to learn. So let me keep this scale which is already solved side here so that we can compare it with our drawing later. We'll start off by making some calculations. So this here is the formula for RF, the representative factor. I like writing it like drawing size by actual size because that allows me to write in short as ds by AS. So now we need to find the ds for the maximum length that we need to draw. And the maximum length that we need to draw has been given as 6 meters. So RF into 6 meters gets us 0.15 meters and that when we convert it into centimeters will give us 15 centimeters. So 15 centimeters is what we have to draw. But we'll be using mm in AutoCAD. So when we are asked to draw 15 centimeters, we'll actually be drawing 150 mm. So let us start by taking the line command. So L enter is the command I have to type and then I have to take the starting point somewhere here. If you want the lines to be horizontal or vertical, we can go on to take the ortho mode. When the ortho mode is off, you can see the line is going everywhere. When it is on, you can get it horizontal. Now in the horizontal direction, you need to take a distance of 150. And because it is a scale, you can take a thickness of 10 and go on to complete this rectangle. Now this scale here represents 6 meters. So we need to divide this into 6 equal parts. Now in AutoCAD we have a command called divide, div, and then you have to click on the line and give the number of divisions you want. So I want 6 divisions here. So you can see this line has been divided into 6 equal parts. For those who are doing the manual drafting, you might need to use the calculator and take the total length divided into 6 parts to get the length that you have to mark. So 25 can easily be marked with your scale. Next, we will be taking this vertical line at all the points. So I just need to select the point, take copy command, CO enter and take a base point and go on clicking that line at all these points that have been created. Next, again take line command by L enter. From the midpoint over here, draw a straight line right up to the other end. Now take trim command by pressing PR, double enter, and then go on trimming the alternate parts. So you can see the main scale has been created. So now we need to subdivide this first division into 10 more parts to get decimeters because 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters. So to do that, again I have to give the divide command, div enter, then click on the line that I want to divide and give the number of divisions on it. You can see points have been placed in such a way that this segment has been divided into 10 equal parts. We can now go ahead, use the copy command and copy this line at all the points that we created. Once we have got line from all these, you can select the middle line, press TR, enter for trim and then remove all the lines that are above our selected line. You can also remove, remove the points if you want because the function is complete now and the middle line you need to extend slightly by selecting and dragging this grip point. Yes, now our scale is complete. And you can see our scale is ready. 
the only thing needed for it now are the markings so you need to just place this mark over here this is where the zero will begin copy this text to all these points and change this to represent whatever marking it represents so this scale since this scale is showing meters you can show off all the lengths in meters you can take a copy of this and write down what unit we are showing over here you may also be required to show the rf right over here so you can take this rf and remove all this text so rf value you have to show and also you have to show the unit which is being used here there's one more unit that we are using over here and this unit here is dc meter so the unit we are using here is decimeter the unit we are using here is meters and the rf used by the scale is of course 1 is to 40 so that completes the plane scale now we have been asked to mark on this scale a distance of 4.7 meters so how do we mark that you can see only the first division has been subdivided so we need to take the distance from the 0 to 4 and this length exactly measures 4 meters and 0 0.7 meters we have to take it on the backside scale so if you take the distance between this line and this line over here we get exactly 4.7 meters but that is not being shown here that's because AutoCAD shows us the drawing lengths and this is not the length we want so what's the workaround select the dimension line press ed enter and then feed whatever length you want and delete the length which comes automatically so that's it this is how you solve the problem on AutoCAD and those who are doing manual drafting they can follow similar procedure to using the drawing instruments and complete the task Thank you for watching this video and if you want more videos of this kind and you want more problems from the previous papers, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want any particular problem to be solved, let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely try to cover it in the coming videos. Thanks for now. All the best for your exams. Prepare well.